So the purpose of this paper is to provide a visualisation of a firm's value proposition from a service dominant logic perspective. Uh, it's based on a case study of Rolls-Royce. Now, if we take a traditional view, we have four primary units of exchange which create Rolls-Royce's value proposition. So the customer bought the engine, which would be the core asset, uh, time in terms of maybe man hours or time spent servicing the asset. You might have spares, which are assets forming uh, subsystems of the engine, or information, reports, um, etc., monitoring, condition and use. So that would be characterised in terms of a goods dominant logic, where value is very much the focus of value, very much on that exchange relationship. Um, <clears throat> in goods dominant logic, the focus on value would very much in the exchange relationship, less focus paid on value in use. Service dominant logic was very much about how do we achieve value in use. So we refocus the thinking around ex uh, exchange and towards use and reanalyzing what roles we do, we find uh, 11 different value creating activities. Uh, 10 of those are actually activities. Brand was included as an 11th because it was perceived to create value for the customer. Uh, these 11 value creating activities um, may be undertaken by the firm or the provider. As an example uh, of a value creating activity, we might talk about technical query resolution speed. Uh, the visualization we provide, provide uh, shows the importance and sensitivity of this particular attribute to the customer. Uh, as well as the internal process model and the cost of de de um, delivering this value creating activity. Now, these value creating activities draw on resources, and the same set of resources could be used to de deliver different services. These are provided through a, a visualization, which we explain in the paper. Um, this lets us see what resources contribute to the value required or created with and for the customers. The firm can see how value is created with their customers and how that fits to the customer mission because it's all much about the value in use. Uh, the visualisation also de depicts the highest possible bundle of benefits for the customer along with the resources, their costs associated with delivering different value creating bundles. So that's what the paper's about.